Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, a little early morning video, still drinking my coffee there. Some sad news I was reading this morning. Um, I watched a couple videos about this. People are talking like if it's written in stone that Daniel Bryan is retiring. Um, I don't think it's uh, definite there, but uh, it looks like a strong possibility at this point. So Brian had uh, an interview with a Singapore newspaper. Um, here's what he had to say. I think it could be the end of my career in WWE. But I don't think it will be the end of my career. I could find another passion, but it would be sad because this is what I've been most passionate about since I was five. Um, when I read that, it sounds like he wants to stay in wrestling. Um, but that his, his career in WWE might be finished. Um, I guess in the ring or whatever um, perhaps he, he wants to keep wrestling for a different promotion I'm not sure what he's thinking there but um, it's sad you know what I'm saying apparently the doctors and WWE don't want to clear him to wrestle but apparently other doctors are clearing him so I'm sure if he'd leave WWE, he could find another job in a different promotion there. But it sucks, damn it, it sucks. Daniel Bryan was supposed to be a big star. He was a big star for a brief period of time. But then that WWE curse struck again the curse that takes out all the good wrestlers like Steve Austin Edge and so on and so on you know what I'm saying um, but yeah at this point in time it's not definite that he's gonna retire he could do some color commentary or whatever be a gm a manager maybe he could work with wrestlers backstage or something but perhaps daniel bryan doesn't want that perhaps he wants to remain as a, a in-ring wrestler you know it sucks because the man should have been a big star you know what i'm saying he became a big star he won the belt at mania defeating orton and batista he was supposed to fucking rise and become a giant mega star but fuck everything fucked up he got injured came back was injured again and I guess WWE doesn't want him to become paralyzed, so I can understand both sides of the coin there. Brian says that doctors are clearing him, that he's good to go. But WWE's seen it too many times there, wrestlers ending up paralyzed and broken necks they're never the same again i guess they don't want that to happen in their ring they're afraid he's gonna you know end up paralyzed in the ring or get another concussion shit like this so i can see both sides of it there but it just fucking sucks it sucks hard you know Every time there's a big star in wrestling, they end up leaving like Rock and Brock Lesnar and shit. Or they, they break their friggin' necks. It's, it's a, a sad business wrestling, you know. 
they pretend to fight but they gotta take bumps and sometimes they land on their head and their necks and shit you know they can't really defend themselves it's not like MMA or boxing where you can avoid the shots and shit and wrestling it's okay you're you're gonna dive off the ropes there and, and go head first through a table and shit. They have no choice but to do it, you know. Very sad, very sad. I hope that Brian doesn't retire from WWE. I hope that somehow a miracle happens and he's cleared to wrestle again. But at this point, it uh, looks like it ain't happening there, but yeah very sad damn it very sad who do we have now just roman reigns for the future fuck um people were debating recently if brian could help the ratings you know boost them back up um i don't think he could have saved the company there but it could have helped it would have helped anyways but yeah, that's wrestling for you. One heartbreaking moment after another, fuck. More goddamn depressing bullshit in wrestling. So, hopefully Brian can, you know, if he still wants to wrestle, maybe he'll end up in the, a promotion and wrestle again, but he'd be wrestling for pennies on the dollar you know what I'm saying I think the best thing for him would be to stay in WWE in the non wrestling role of some kind there but looks like he's you know dead set on wrestling or whatever but might end up with a broken neck or paralyzed so maybe it's best for him to retire there the WWE curse has struck again, people. Sorry, I'm rambling a bit this morning there, but it's sad. It's motherfucking sad. The man could have been the star. He should have been the star. He was a star, but then it was all taken away from him, and it sucks. Until next time, peace.